Est-ce que vous avez de la difficulté à comprendre les Américains lorsqu'ils sont en train de parler l'anglais Leur prononciation n'est pas du tout évidente, n'est-ce pas Surtout lorsqu'ils commencent à prononcer les marques de voitures, par exemple, ou les marques de vêtements. Et c'est le sujet de la vidéo d'aujourd'hui. Hard to pronounce brand names. Brand names, c'est marque. Donc prenez vos carnets de notes, on va étudier de fond en comble la prononciation américaine avec notre petit américain Cody aujourd'hui. Hello everybody, it's Code Joe, your English coach, and it's Cody. All right. So again, today we brought our Harvard professor, <laughs> Cody, my son, to help us make sense of the American pronunciation of brand names. So without further ado, let's start with a very easy one, but not so easy. All right. So la pomme. <laughs> Cette fameuse marque, la pomme, comment est-ce qu'on dit ça J'entends très souvent les Français dire ou les francophones dire « Apple »,« Apple ». Ce n'est pas correct, alors on va laisser la place à notre petit Américain. Cody, can you help us pronounce this brand name Apple. Once again. Apple. Once again. Apple. Beautiful. A. Ah, vous voyez, son A ah est dans la gorge. Ce n'est pas A. Ah. Uh -uh. Ce n'est pas A. Ah. Apple. Paul. Et c'est comme si le E venait avant le L. Apple. Apple. Comme people. Ce n'est pas people. People. Non. Ce n'est pas apple. Apple. OK? All right. Very good. Une deuxième marque très connue. Amazon. Comment prononce-t-on cela en bon anglais américain? Cody, help us pronounce this three times. Amazon. 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 Thank you. Et vous voyez, son A, ça fait un. Amazon. Et ça, c'est Zon. Zon, c'est pas Zone. Amazon. Amazon. Alors, le troisième, là, les francophones, j'entends tout. <laughs> All right. So, this one, qu'est-ce que j'ai pas entendu? La plus fameuse, c'est LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Vous dites ça à un Américain, il ne va rien comprendre. Il va dire, ah. Oh. Il dit LinkedIn, eh ben, hein? et lui, lorsqu'il prononce, ou bien elle, lorsqu'il prononce, est-ce que vous allez pouvoir comprendre Et donc, aujourd'hui, on va apprendre la bonne prononciation américaine de LinkedIn. Cody, please. LinkedIn. Or even this can be a T, right Yeah, but when I say it fast, it's LinkedIn. Exactly. LinkedIn. Yeah. LinkedIn. Beautiful. So, donc, ce qu'il a dit, c'est que si... si Ralenti, ça fait LinkedIn. Mais lorsqu'il dit ça rapidement, le D devient un T. LinkedIn, LinkedIn, LinkedIn. Oui, donc c'est link, link, un lien, link. En anglais, c'est link. Et c'est ici qu'il y a le problème. Link, oubliez le E, ok? LinkedIn. Donc il y a un petit T ici, ten. LinkedIn, 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 ok? All right. Lorsque vous brossez les dents, là, il y a une fameuse marque. All right. Colgate, comment dit-on cela en anglais? Colgate. Cody, please help us pronounce this. Colgate. Mm. Colgate. Mm. Colgate. All right. Colgate, Colgate, you can hear Colgate, Colgate. Perfect. OK? Colgate. Gate. Gate, c'est la porte. OK? Gate, ou le portail. Gate. Colgate or Colgate. All right, very good. This one is famous in the United States. You go there to eat. Come over here to eat. They have good food. It's not that healthy, but pretty good. <laughs> I used to go here every week. In New York, right? Yeah, when I was four. Uh, when, you were, when you were four years old? No, when I was three. When you were three, yeah. Three or four, maybe, yeah. yeah. Chipotle. Once again. Chipotle. Once again. Chipotle. Wow. It, it's not, this is not obvious. Okay. Chipotle. D'abord, c'est chi. Ch c'est pas chi. C'est pas, c'est pas chi. En français, ça, c'est chi. En anglais, ça, ici, c'est ch, 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 chipotle. Donc, oubliez le i. Ok. Chipotle. Chipotle. Je ne sais même pas pourquoi ils ont mis accent à des suites. Chipotle. Donc, ici, c'est différent de Apple. Le E ne vient pas avant le L. Le L vient avant le E. Chipotle. 
Chipotle, Chipotle. Et ce thé là, on l'appelle a stop tea. We call it a stop, a stop tea. A stop tea, like in the word important, important or mountain. Mount, <laughs> Cody, what are you doing? Mountain or fountain, okay? So, this tea, Chipotle, Chipotle, vous avez la, Chipotle, take this, Chipotle, Chipotle, Chipotle. Cody, say it again. Chipotle. Once again. Chipotle. Once again. Chipotle. Beautiful. All right, next, Coca, la Coca-Cola. J'entends également beaucoup de francophones. Uh, qui prononce ça de façon incorrecte. Donc, on va voir ça tout de suite. Cody, please help us pronounce Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. <laughs> Once again. Coca-Cola. Once again. Coca-Cola. All right. So, you see what he did here? Coca. Coca. Ça, c'est ce qu'on appelle un choix. Okay? This is a choix. Cette syllabe-là. A choix. Donc ce n'est pas un A, ce n'est pas coca, ce n'est pas coquet, ce n'est pas coquet, c'est coque, coque. Et le choix, can I borrow your blue? Yeah, yeah. Et, et le choix, c'est dans les mots comme about, ab, about, ou bien attention. Vous voyez, ici on ne dit pas about, mm. ne dites pas about, ne dites pas attention, c'est about, ou bien attention. Et c'est la même chose ici, coque. Cola, Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola. All right, very good. Maybe you like this brand of shoes. I'm not sure if you like this brand of shoes, but a lot of famous people wear this brand of shoes. So if you see them wearing this, maybe you start wearing it too. Adidas, en français, Adidas. Mais en anglais, c'est Cody. Can you help us pronounce this? A lot of athletes they wear. A lot of athletes, yes. And they get partnerships. That's for right. Mm -hmm. Adidas. Mm -hmm. Adidas. Mm -hmm. Adidas. All right. Encore une fois, the schwa is here. The schwa is here. Uh, Adidas. This. Donc, il y a deux choix dedans. Adidas. 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 All right, Cody, go over there for a sec. Okay, very good. Alors. Ça, vous utilisez probablement, you probably use the software to print things in PDF format. So how do we print? Cody, do you know how to pronounce this? Yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Adobe. Once again. Adobe. Once again. Adobe. Beautiful. Donc, ce n'est pas Adobe. Okay, mm. Adobe. 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 Mm -hmm. This is this is where there's Adobe Photoshop and the Adobe editing. That's right. Adobe, ed Adobe editing or Adobe editor? No, um, Adobe Photoshop. Adobe Photoshop. Yeah. So you probably know about Adobe Photoshop, uh, but we also use it to uh, convert files into PDF format. All right. So here again there is a schwa the schwa is very very important learn the schwa man because otherwise you will have trouble understanding americans and by the way if you have trouble with english in general don't worry we got you si vous avez des problèmes avec l'anglais ne vous en faites pas nous avons un programme d'immersion anglaise sur mesure pour les francophones comme vous nous avons déjà aidé des milliers de francophones dans plus de 50 pays du monde à parler convenablement l'anglais dans le confort de leur maison. Donc, si vous êtes intéressé, dans la barre de description, il y a un lien. Cliquez sur ce lien, renseignez vos informations et moi-même, je vais vous contacter pour vous en dire plus. All right. Donc, vous avez probablement hmm, ceux qui ont l'argent dans les commentaires là. Vous avez, vous avez probablement séjourné ici. Comment est-ce qu'on dit ça en anglais Je ne sais même pas si le petit peut dire ça parce que il n'a que 8 ans. Donc, on va voir tout à l'heure. On va, on va lui faire une interrogation. How do we pronounce this? This is so famous. It is famous, but do you know how to pronounce it? Ritz Carlton. Ritz, okay, Ritz what? Ritz Carlton. Okay, yeah, once again. Ritz Carlton. Beautiful. Ritz Carlton. Et souvent, il y a The Ritz, on, on met l'article défini, The Ritz Carlton, The Ritz Carlton, Ritz Carlton. Carlton. The L, it, it's like it goes down. Yeah, it's, it's a dark, we call it a, gar, a dark L. A That's, dark. This is a dark L, Carlton. Ten. Et c'est pas ton, Carlton. Okay, donc son petit frère, c'est pas petit frère en tant que t'es. <laughs>
Donc ça, le Marriott en anglais. What do we, Cody, do you know how to pronounce this? I do. All right, let's try it. Marriott. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Marriott. Once again. Marriott. Beautiful. Marriott. Good, good job. Mar Mary. Ooh. Your hand, you, are you sure you ate? <laughs> All right, so, Marriott, me, me, me. Donc ça, ici, it's, it's not the schwa. This is not, m, m, no, c'est pas Marriott, no. Marriott, 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 Marriott. All right, un autre hôtel, et on va terminer avec les hôtels. En français, comment est-ce qu'on dit ça est-ce qu'on dit Hilton Le Hilton Oui, j'ai séjourné au Hilton. Euh, hier, euh, j'étais au Hilton. <rire> ok, but in English, how do we pronounce this, Cody Hilton. Yeah. Hilton. Once again. The Hilton Hotel. The Hilton Hotel. Hill, Hill. Donc, le, ici, c'est le short, short I. Short, can I borrow your, your thing really quickly? Short. <coughs> Short I, ça veut dire le I là, ce n'est pas he, ok, ce n'est pas he. Par exemple, ça et ça, ça se prononce différemment. Cody, can you pronounce this? Pick. Pick. Il n'a pas dit pick, il a dit pick. Et ça? Pick. 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 Vous voyez la différence? Pick. Pick. And then this? Set. 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 And then this? Seat. Seat. Vous voyez? So that's the difference. This is a short I. Pick, sit, hill, tin, hill, tin, Carl, tin. Ce n'est pas Hilton. Ne dites pas Hilton. Take this. Alors, ceux qui aiment manger du burger là, hmm? c'est pas bon, hein? Mais au moins, il faut savoir comment dire cela. McDo. D'abord, c'est comme ça qu'on qu appelle cela. OK, le D apostrophe S. Cody, can you help us? For... By the way, do you like eating here? No, the burger, <laughs> whenever I get the burger, it's smushed. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. McDonald's? Yeah, they like they press down they the press, burger. They press the bur so why don't you just tell them not to press it? <laughs> They're gonna do it. They're gonna do it anyway. Yeah, even okay. if you ordered the big one, they press it down. Really? And they only put one tomato in there. They Ooh, give you instead one. of how many? Instead of like the lettuce and the chick <laughs> and the burger. Bun. They're trying to save money on the lettuce <laughs> and the tomatoes. All right, so it's a good thing you don't like it because it's not healthy. Yeah. This is not healthy, y'all. Don't go over here, all right? Do not go over here. <laughs> All right, ils vont me censurer. <laughs> All right, Cody, can you help us pronounce this? McDonald's. Once again. McDonald's. Once again. McDonald's. Vous voyez comment il prononce ça? Mc, Mc, il n'a pas dit Mac. Mc, McDonald's. Mc, it's like M-I-C. Mc, M-I, no, M-I-C is Mike. M-I-C, Mike. <laughs> oh, some people's names is spelled M I C. Oh no, M A C. Maybe. No, like this, M I C. Really? Yeah, like Mike. Mick Jagger. Yeah, and like the short for microphone. Mike, Mike. Okay. Mick Jagger is Mick Jagger pronounced like spelled like this? Mick what Jagger. Is Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger. He's okay. Yeah, you too. You too, you too young to know Mick Jagger. All right. So this is Mick. Mick. McDonald's, McDonald's, all right? L'entreprise de Elon Musk. Maintenant, c'est son entreprise, n'est-ce pas? Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. Euh, J'ai tweeté quelque chose hier. Twitter, j'étais sur Twitter toute la journée. Do Americans pronounce it like that? I don't think so. Cody, can you help us pronounce this? Twitter. Once again. Twitter. Once again. Twitter. You hear that? Twitter. Twitter. So if you don't know how to pronounce this and somebody in front of you says Twitter, you're not going to know what they're saying, right? Yeah, like but... Like, it's, it's crazy. But... They changed it to X. So yeah. Sometimes <laughs> they can just hear you say, Hey, il a raison, let, le petit. Me, let me post that X. Le, le petit a raison. Okay. So they, they changed the name to X. So now some people still say Twitter, um, but a lot of people say X. So you will hear Twitter or X, right? Yeah. Very good. All right. What about this? This is a G. What about this, Cody? Can this, you help us pronounce this? They give you TVs and phones. Yeah. Samsung. Once again. Samsung. Once again. Samsung. Beautiful. Samsung. 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 All right. We were talking about shoes earlier. Uh, they make clothes too. Just like these guys. Yeah, Nike. They make Nike tech. 
Well, but don't pronounce it before you pronounce it. <rire> il a déjà commencé à prononcer hein, le petit là il, est, il, est, hein? <rire> tu, il coule comme la diarrhée hein? <rire> trop rapide All right, let's go Cody, no problem can you help us pronounce this? Nike once again Nike once again Nike beautiful Nike donc prononcez le qui Nike 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 All right. I bet he doesn't know how to pronounce the next one because this is, I think this is a French brand. So what happens typically with French brands is Americans, they just butcher up the pronunciation. So I, he, I will, we will teach you both pronunciations, okay? So he's probably going to mess it up, I'm not sure. So Cody, can you help us pronounce this? Cartier? Uh, okay, yeah, pretty close. Cartier. Cartier. Okay. Cartier. Okay, so Cartier. Cartier. So you may hear a lot of Americans say Cartier, especially rappers, because they like wearing Cartier. They may say Cartier, Cartier, Cartier. But the right pronunciation is Cartier, Cartier, Cartier. Just like in French, but Americans cannot say Cartier, Cartier. So they, you may hear Some Americans who know about the French pronunciation say Cartier. Otherwise, you will just hear Cartier, 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 okay? I was gonna say Cartier. Okay, yeah, Cartier, Cartier, because this is E in, in French, yeah? Uh, yeah. Cartier. All right, very good. <clears throat> If you're like exercising, you may have seen this brand or bought from this brand already. It has a fruit in it called what? What is this called? Lemon. That's right, lemon. Therefore, the whole thing is what? Lululemon. 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 Pour moi, moi, je pense que c'est trop cher pour rien du tout. Hein? Pour juste, pour, pour, juste pour la marque. It's too expensive. Just, for, just because they put a brand on it. What is the logo of Lululemon? Is this something like this? What even is Lululemon? Ah, je pense que c'est comme ça le signe. <rire> Comment est-ce que je m'en suis rappelé? Parce que, non, moi je n'achète pas Lululemon. Souvent, c'est les femmes. Les femmes qui, surtout les femmes qui veulent apparaître riches. Hein? Ne, ne, don't buy things just to appear rich. Hein? You, you know, it is not, don't do that. I, I hear that a lot of people spend money on things they don't need to impress people they don't know. Okay, they spend money they don't have to buy things they don't need to impress people they don't know. You know, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> All right, but if you're buying the next brand, you probably have money. You cannot fake buy this. You probably have money. Jay Z mentioned this this brand in one of his songs. Um, I'm not gonna tell you the title of the song because it. There is a bad word in the title, but the title goes something like this. <laughs> oh, that's the title of the song. You will hear him talk about this brand. Uh, he says this brand, the line that he used was, this is the line that he used in the song. Lorsque vous écoutez ça, maintenant vous allez réécouter, vous allez voir qu'il a dit da 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 dans TikTok. Donc, il a utilisé cette marque. On va voir si le petit sait comment dire cette marque. Cody, do you know how to say this? Audi Mars. No. <laughs> okay, everyone now. Audi Mars. Yeah, but don't pronounce the S. Okay, donc ici c'est Audi Mars. Audi Mars, okay. Audi Mars, Audi Mars. Donc, Jay-Z said Audi Mars. Audi Mars, they don't tick tock. Okay, Audi Mars. So you can pronounce the S too, but sometimes they don't pronounce the S. So, or you can say Audi Mars or Audi Mars. Okay, Audi Mars. <laughs> All right, do it again. Audi Mars. That's right. Audi Mars. Beautiful. All right. Si vous aimez les jeans, ça c'est une marque de jeans. Hagodi, how do we pronounce this? Diesel. Once again? Diesel. All right, very good. Diesel. 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 Okay, diesel. Zol. So, this, this is like, can I borrow that? Okay, this is like a Z. Okay, it's like a Z. D, diesel. Zol. And, and here, you, you see the E becomes a schwa. Zol. Diesel. D. What's that? Diesel. And this one is a long I, like seat. 
peak, D. Ce n'est pas de, 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 de diesel. Non, c'est diesel. Diesel. On va terminer avec une autre marque également de vêtements ou de jeans spécifi spécifiquement. Cody, can you help us pronounce this? Levi's. Once again? Levi's. Once again? Levi's. Wow, It, it's not obvious. C'est pas évident. Levi's. 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 All right, come over here. Let's go. Apple. Apple. Amazon. Can you move off the screen? Yeah. Amazon. LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Speak louder, Cody. Colgate. Colgate, Chipotle, Chipotle, Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola, Adidas, Adidas, Adobe, Adobe, Ritz-Carlton, Ritz-Carlton, Marriott, Marriott, Hilton, Hilton, McDonald's, McDonald's, Twitter, Twitter, X, Samsung, Samsung, Nike, Nike, Cartier, Cartier. 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 Or Cartier. Cartier. Mm -hmm. Lululemon. Lululemon. Audemars. 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 Or Audemars. Audemars. <laughs> Diesel. Diesel. Levi's. Levi's. Good job. I'm not going to high five him again because he's hurting my hand. <laughs> All right, good job, Cody. All right, listen, everybody. Oh, let's move off the screen so you can take a screenshot of this and start practicing uh, these brand names. Very, very important to learn how to pronounce them. All right, start learning how to pronounce them. And by the way, if you want to start learning how to think in English, just click right here. This video will help you learn how to think in English. It's Coach Joe, your English coach, and it's... Cody. All right, we'll see you guys next time. See you.